Hello there, it's Richard and John, RJ Coins, and we are back with a 50p head-to-head -head challenge hunt. First recorded 50p hunt for quite some time. Uh, two weeks ago, we had four bags of Brexit, so we couldn't do a hunt. And the previous one, number 10, that went up, that had actually been pre-recorded quite close to the beginning of the year. So uh, this is a rare on-camera hunt recently. So where we are, a quick recap. The Arvug, we're needing to find here, NHS, Suffragette, Q, WWF, Isaac Newton, and a 2018 Peter Rabbit, and then the Brexit film. We haven't put Brexit in here, we've decided that we think we should hunt it in a normal Recorded hunt. If you think differently, you can put that in the comments. Hopefully, we'll get some good likes, some good comments, a few new subscribers. I've also got a handful of Olympic coins there as well, and a couple of territories. For John, where he's at, he's still looking for NHS as well, and Roger Bannister. Well, John's found about half a dozen Roger Bannisters on the hunts that we've done off camera so hopefully his luck will turn back to that today. Kew Gardens of course, John still needs a puddle duck and also the 2018 rabbit Flopsy and Tittlemouse and Paddington at the station surprisingly so as well as his Brexit. John does have just a single Olympic coin and a couple of territories. So that's where we're at. I'm going to let John have the 13 bags today because it's been so long I can't remember whose turn it is. So I'll be generous to John today. And there's been a lot said around me letting John pick his bags. So come and pick your bags, John. Right. You have got some sealed bags here to look at as well within this. So it's a, a £250 bag. But within that, Big seal bag, there's a couple of seal bags. So, do you want both of those or do you want to take one each? I'll take one each. Pick. I'll, I'll this one. Right, so I'll take that one. Now, if you take 12 other bags then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, it should leave you with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Am I going first, John? Yep. Okay. I have put up a couple of little videos of some of the off-camera hunts because we have had some really good finds. We've had quite a significant number of Olympics, including football and wrestling, triathlon. It's nothing in that first bag, though. So it's a shame that some of those hunts didn't get recorded. There would have been some really good ones for the albums. Not a great start from the first two bags for me though. Nothing again there. It's getting difficult for the album finds now. Can't believe how many Brexit coins are starting to turn up now. I know that everyone was thinking that it would eventually be quite a high mintage. And even with the initial Three million or so coming out of what was touted. I thought they might not be out and about and found in great numbers too soon, but they've really started to flood. Flood out everywhere it seems. So 
we do have a find. For what it's worth, it's a dictionaries. Beginning to think though that we weren't going to have anything at all after three complete box bags. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how many Brexit coins are actually minted in the end. John and I were talking about this the other day and we actually think that it's going to be 17,410,482 or whatever it was in terms of votes for Brexit so that everyone that voted for Brexit can get one. Another bus bag. So not looking good for Team R in hunt number 11. Carries on like this, I won't let John pick next time. This is looking like something that has already been hunted through. It could be that the sealed bag that we've got each could be the only one that hasn't been tampered with and looked at. Even more frustrating after the really great hunts that we have had and haven't recorded them. And that was really just because we had so many recorded up front, ready to go. I've got Sherlock Holmes. Probably going to be as common as the dictionaries as well. <laughs> and as if by magic there's another dictionaries on cue. Yeah, when you have those hunts off camera that produce top five Olympics and Flopsies and Peter Rabbits, Newtons. We really do wish that you filmed them, recorded them. But them's the breaks. yet another dictionary so that's number three for the dictionaries and a Victoria Cross heroic sack heroic axe so nothing spectacular at all yet only three bags to go it's looking like a walkover for John already you can't beat three dictionaries of Sherlock Holmes and a heroic act, then there's something wrong. Oh, we've got a Paddington at the Cathedral. I'm quite sad when that's the best find so far. worth looking at some of the other hunts that are on the channel, some of the Aussie coin hunts, or trade videos, £2 as well, some good £2 finds in the last few weeks, so just my sealed bag to go, so it's not a sealed bag of anything in particular, it's just a sealed bag. Will we get anything any better? 2019 Shields and another Paddington at the Cathedral. So really, really poor Poor, poor return on my hunt. Literally only two Paddington at the Cathedral. Heroic Axe for the Victoria Cross. Sherlock. And three dictionaries. So, John, come and top that.
Not sure there's even any keepers in that one. Feeling confident? Not for that I am, yeah. <laughs> See if you've got magic hand with your pick or whether it is just a complete dud bag. Did pick up the new dinosaur Megalosaurus bunk pack this week as well. It's quite a nice looking coin, looks a decent set. Shame we won't be seeing them in the change. Only going to be put together in the different package ways. Bust to begin with. It's good to see something a bit different. So dinosaurs haven't had those before. Do you think of the dinosaur coin, John? It's alright, isn't it? Alright, isn't it? Yeah. Also been announced that the next coin in the Music Legends series will be out with John. So nice Queen box. came out when we were at the Mint, they were out there on sale, the Queen one had just come out. Alton John will be the next one. Could be everyone looking at this in fast forward, John, I reckon, don't you? Mm. Okay. Medals. So between this, we've got a little mini set. Nothing in that, nothing else. Looking like our worst hunt so far out of the 11. Just a filthy one, is it, John? Yeah. Can't even find Not a Benjamin bus. Bunny. Has it got a B or an L and M on there? Haven't found one of bungles. No, it's not a bungle one. I might have to put an extra little card in the book, especially for the bungle, Benjamin Bunny. Really dodgy hunt so far. Mm, nothing else again. Put them back over the other side for the next time. Right? Otherwise, you'll knock them over. Got 
18 GB. Okay, got that on you. Let's put a look. Yeah, Wise. Probably the best find so far though. Better than St Paul's Cathedral. What do you reckon? Not a lot in it. Don't know. I'm found it's that one's better. Fair enough. Probably. Good call. I don't want to get a win. I don't think I've won one. Probably the last one. My first in that one. I haven't got to come up with much else to get a win. I'm still claiming that at the moment, just on numbers. It's certainly going to be a points win, not a knockout, that's what it's looking like. How about giving your prediction for the boxing then, John? That's tonight. So by the time this goes out, we'll mm. see if you've made a right prediction. Fury or Wilder for the boxing? Fury. We should have won last time, so I can do it on this okay. time. So Team J is on Team Fury for the boxing tonight. So by the time you watch this, you'll know whether John's a boxing pundit genius. Points or knockout then, John? Points. Points win for Fury, John's going for. Obviously that means I have to go for a wilder knockout. Don't have to. No. Could have gone for Fury knockout. No, I'm going to go for a wilder knockout. Yeah. I could have a bonus have point a on the challenge. For the boxing prediction, as the coins are so woeful today, you might have to have a bonus point on the boxing result. Got Pallington at St Paul's. Ooh. That'd be a good one for the comments. Do you think we should have a bonus point for the boxing prediction, given that the coins have been pretty awful today? Um, Everyone that watches it, it'd be great. Coin. Yeah. Two thousand and eight Britannia. Okay. Probably the lowest minted coin we've found today. Just over three million. Yeah, everyone make your comment. Does the boxing prediction deserve a bonus point? And we've got there four more bags after this one. Mm -hmm. Keep that one here if you want. Hopefully the shed roof won't blow off this time. Did a couple of weeks ago. shout out as well um, when I'm looking through around learning about my Aussie coins for the Aussie trades that I've been doing and putting that in collection I have a look at PJ's coin capers so if you're interested in the Aussie coins and uh, want to look at who I think is probably the the number one youtuber from an Australian coin point of view it's PJ coins capers and you can find them on Facebook as well well worth a look uh, a great bunch of people on that Facebook page as well in terms of help you out with knowledge and everything else. You've got Ironside. Okay. I think you could be pushing into the lead, John. Yeah, so take a look at PJ's coin capers. You left the seal bag to last as well. Mm -hmm. 
Another Benji and Bonnie. Mm. Bill and Emma on in. Mm. No. And another iron side. Okay. So do the Benjamin Bunnies counts as minus though. That's the thing. How am I getting desperate? Getting desperate. <laughs> So we're going to round off probably one of our worst yes. hunts ever. Worst in terms of numbers found and in terms of the quality of the finds. Is a seal bag going to save John? There we go. Who needs scissors when you've got muscles like that? We've got another Benjamin Bunny. Oh, another minus point. Oh, another minus point. Stacking up the minuses. I think this is as close as you can get to a goalless draw. If you're using football terms. People's act. Oh, that's even worse, probably. Even the seals bag that only had a Benjamin Bunny and a people act. And that's it. That really is a woeful hunt between us, unfortunately. So, who do you reckon has won? Was that Team R or Team J that wins that one? I don't think that anybody. Can... The numbers after that one. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. So, what do you think? Who takes that one? Does even anyone deserve to take a point for that one? Do let us know. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.